So, um, at my school today we have a fair international fair to be exact. And we're doing Italy this year. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine in slide, really. Leroy's. So I'm going to talk to you about them. I need to so the sock, so one of the spots, it's all the, oh I just some in my jeans. Um, so the most popular sport in Italy is soccer, aka football, that's what they call it. Because in America, where I live, they, live, they call it soccer. And they have won four World FIFA World Cups. That and World Cups happen every four years. And they were they won it in 1934, 1938, 1982, and 2006. Well, and 2006 was the recent one, not too long ago, just like eight years. This okay. And they have a soccer league. The, the soccer league they have one in there. They have one called Series A, and. And it's one of the most popular around the world. Not one of the most, but some of the top, like the top ten. So one of the seven wonders, so one of the seven wonders, this this um is here. It's in the it's called a Colosseum in Rome. And this the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It's not it's not um it's not like a world wonder, but still pretty famous. And there's 94 million tourists per year. Not like the bad one, like people who come to visit and look at it. Like if you go on location, they're basically uh, like seeing it. Like if you go to New York, you're basically like a tourist. Not like a terrorist. Okay. Italy is, Italy is the home of some active volcanoes. Here's some of them. Italy not one, not two, but not three, but four active volcanoes it has. It, and yeah. Also, Italy, I think, is mostly covered in mountains. Mostly. Okay. Now you need to see the big one because I don't have my glasses. Okay. Alright, that's just this one. See. Pizza. Yeah, pizza is one of the most famous foods ever. It was, it was, Italy didn't make it, but a person introduced it to Italy, and now they're really famous for pizza. Oh, and by the way, they make about, it's over here, if you look at cuisine, there are about approximately a one million pizza that are consumed in Italy per day. There's like around 65,000 pizzerias in Italy. Really, really good. They also um have a lot of cheese there. They also make cheese and also pasta. And this is the and the flag is right here. Mom, zoom in so if they can see. Yep. Okay. And the green color. It represents plains and the hills of Italy, so basically like the landscapes and stuff. The white represents snow, cap, air, air, air. Wait, how do you say it, Mom? Alps. Alps. Alps, I think, maybe. In the north of Italy, the red represents the bloodshed in wars for Italy. So like the wars. Oh yeah, that kind of makes sense because before it was called it before it was called Italy, it was called the Roman Empire. That's probably why the capital is called Rome, and why it is the capital. And it was expired by um, no, uh, Napoleon's invasion, you know, of the peninsula. Oh yeah, yeah, Italy is also is a peninsula. That means like it's not fully an island. It's not fully, it's almost an island, but it just connects it. And it's Italy it's also in a boot shape. Boot shape. You look at it. Yeah. Like a boot. Yeah. Yeah, if you can see over there. And I think Napoleon is 
used to be, I don't know, there's some memes that would actually, like, there's nothing you can do like that. There's, um, right, she was France's leader, but then I think he got an illness and he died, and like old wars, like old stuff. Uh, and it's like, it's located in like, found in north of Europe. Almost, it's, yeah, it's in like the north of Europe. If, so like in the middle of the world, really. If you look at it in the world map. Okay. Cause we already went over before. Is there anything here? Oh yeah. They use the currency in euros. Euros. Huh. Oh yeah, and here's some pictures of it. Here's pictures of what they use. Within the US, we don't have five, we do have five, 10. We do not have 20s. We have hundreds, but not 200s, right, mom? Yeah, and we don't use euros, we use dollars. And dollars is actually the most strongest currency. So it's the most in the world. So if you do one dollar anywhere else in the world, you'll get more of that currency. So basically you could become a millionaire in a different country even if you don't have even you know, 500,000. Okay, and also, you could look at this, I could show you it. If you want to learn Spanish, it's right there. <laughs> it's Italian. Oh yeah, Italian. But, the... No, mom, it's Italian. No, it's not Italian. No, it's, it's Spanish or Italian. Because E does mean yes in, in Spanish. No means no in yeah, So basically Spanish, I think. Cut me if I'm wrong. The Italian emperor has had a 400 year region due to its artistic qualities, historical and cultural significance. Yeah, I don't know how to say that. Yeah. So, opera, oh, also, denim jeans, and piano. Yeah. Oh, yeah, also made the piano it invented. The, uh, a really famous... His name is by the Jean who invented Jen. Jen. Oh, oh that makes sense. Okay. And also a really famous place, if I if I could suggest you, if you want to sh get Indian food. No, not Indian, because I'm Indian, I got, and they both saw us, I, Italian food. I would really suggest Olive Garden, it's my favorite. <laughs> okay, now that's it for today. Bye.